This is sad, bro. Like, I just seen Tay Rock live, and it's just like, wow, bro. Like, I hate being lied to, B. Like, don't no one like to be lied to. Like, Rock, you sitting here talking about the contract suck, and, and you wasn't happy with the bread. Like, my nigga, then why didn't you tell them that? Why didn't you tell them you wasn't happy with the bread? Because from what I can see, these niggas been reaching out, and you've been ignoring them. How do you expect to get your money right if you ignoring them? That don't even make sense, bro. How do you expect to get your money right if you're not reaching out to them to complain about the money? That don't make sense. You running around acting like you deserve a medal because you gave them their money back. You paid them back today. You paid them back today. You didn't do it weeks ago. You didn't do it months ago when they could have found someone else to replace you. You did it today because you knew it was hitting the fan. So you scrambled up $2,000 and you sent it back. That's what you did. Why else would you send it back today? You don't deserve cookies and ice cream for that. Okay? That's their money, not yours. And then you talk about, I should have clean papered you. Number one, clean don't got nothing to do with this, so why are you bringing him up? That's kind of crazy to me that you would just throw him under the bus like that. And number two, you talking about, oh... You're going to pay five racks for a lawyer to get you two stacks. That's dumb. If I'm a league owner overseas, I'm definitely paying attention to what you're saying. Because you making it seem like you will you will jerk one of these niggas one day. Who else thinks like that? You got this all mapped out here. You probably is going to try to keep that two stacks to be real with you. But you knew it was going to be a bad look. Because you sent it back this morning. Or who do you think you're talking to? See, some of these other fans are dumb. But I'm not dumb. Seriously, I'm not dumb. You niggas sabotaged this niggas event, bro. Y'all should have just sent the bread back and said you wasn't going to battle. Instead, you got... Like, why would these niggas be tweeting you and tweeting you and tweeting you if they knew you wasn't going to battle? They thought you were still going to battle, bro. You know that. Knock it off. You doing damage control. Now all y'all got blogs come out the same day that you niggas got aired out by them. Let's keep it real, bro. Shit is mad annoying, bro. And you still on this suck my dick, suck my dick with your mother's lips. Let me ask you a question. What if he said suck my dick with your daughter's lips? How would you take that? You'd probably be going crazy, right? Punching holes in walls and all that, right? Then calm down with your mouth. Because you opening all kind of doors. He don't got to say suck my dick with your mother's lips. Because you said that to get him mad. If I'm going to get you mad, I'm going to bring your daughter into it. See what I'm saying? Stop doing that shit. You look dumb. You pay them back. Ooh, wow. You pay back what they sent you. I mean, you didn't complain about it, but now it's a big deal. You pay them back, and you want cookies and ice cream for it. Like, I should have kept you at two racks. Like, you sound stupid. Then you complaining that you got to meet the fans over there. They want me to go to a meet and greet. So what? Don't you make music, nigga? Who else going to buy your music? You bugging. No offense. Surf make good music. Um, Your name ain't up there. You don't even got a song with Surf. Like, you ain't even pop music-wise yet. So what are you talking about? Like, I'm lost. I, your mentality is insane to me, bro. You really be feeling yourself for some reason. You need to calm down, bro. You need to calm down. And now I see that you and old boy is talking about fighting. You talking about set it up and he wants to, like, bro, I hope you know what you're doing, man. I hope you know what you're doing because you bugging out. You got a nigga, like, not trying to be funny. But that, this niggas in your hometown will be coming at your neck every goddamn day. And you know who I'm talking about. You know that nigga Jeezy. He come at your neck every day and he's in Maryland. And he be violating you and you do nothing about it. So I don't understand why you acting tough to the UK niggas. That don't make no sense to me. You not even handling problems in your backyard. Like, come on, bro. Just chill, man. You going to be okay, right? This is going to pass. But you tell niggas suck my dick, you blocking niggas. You act like you don't want to meet no fuse. You so stuck up. You don't want to meet the fans now in the UK. You want to get paid for that. Like, what? Get paid for that. Oh, I should have kept your money and bought me another piece. Like, what? What's another piece? Come on, man. When, when Hollow pulled the diamond test out, you damn near fainted, nigga. Stop it, bro. Knock it off, man. Like, go back to the humble rock. This rock is so ugly. Like, you, like, you look crazy right now. Everybody else is trying to be nice business like you want to suck my dick, suck my dick, suck my... That's just like, that's all you know. It's to say suck my dick with your mother's lip. Don't, don't you get tired of that, bro? You don't get tired of that? Like, God damn, that's what faggots say. Like, why are you telling other niggas to suck your dick, bro? Ain't you straight? 
Like, like what are you confused or something? Just calm down, bro. I don't want nothing to happen to you, man. I would hate to see you get fucked up. You, you gotta understand. You're supposed to be the face of URL. Like you, like that ain't happening right now, niggas. Like the face ain't supposed to be doing bad business. They, they just not. Like, I, like I know you telling to go. I ain't these other niggas. I'm me. Like that's the problem. Like you've been number one on URL for so long. You think that you just you can do no wrong. Like nah, bro. You wrong here, bro. They wasn't trying to get over on you. You signed the con. How you gonna say the money's not right? But you signed a contract. You knew what was going on already. The contract told you what was going on, buddy. They gave everybody 25%. You knew that. That's why you accepted that and signed a contract. Now you're trying to find ways out the contract. Oh, it's going to cost you more money to get a lawyer to get the money back. Like, what are you talking about? You shouldn't even be thinking like that. What you should have did was got in your bag and wrote three rounds for Shadi Horror. That's it. You would have made mad new fans. You probably would have went back out there. I mean, they could have... You'd be burning bridges without even knowing. you so fucking... Stuck to URL is fucking pathetic at this point. You probably got URL tatted on your lower back right now, bro. Like, relax. Relax. As a fan, this shit, it, it hurts to really see that live you put up, bro. It hurts. I thought she was smarter than this, bro. You act like you a goddamn third, third grader. Just chill out, man. Stop doing bad business with niggas, bro. If niggas are telling you, yo, I can't battle, then let niggas know ahead of time and send their bread back ahead of time, not the day they're going to air you out, but, the, but ahead of time so they can do what they got to do and then your hands is clean and not dirty no more. You wait until today to send the money back, nigga. Like, you're not, you not in the clear because you sent the money back. They can't do nothing with that money now. They can't find another event now. And what about all the fans over there who already purchased tickets because they thought y'all was going to be battling? Are you paying them back? No, right? It's fuck them niggas, right? Because you URL for life. You got URL fans, right? You niggas be killing y'all fan base and don't even know it. What the fuck? You was the main event, nigga. They, a lot of these niggas bought the tickets because you was going. And But then again, you don't even want to meet these niggas. You feel like you should get paid just for taking pictures with niggas. Like, that's a, like, like that's a, a bad thing that fans want to take pictures with you. Like, come on. You serious, bro? Get your head off your ass, Rock, man. Like, all you battlers, pay attention, man. This is not how you're supposed to act. It's not. You niggas is blessed that, that, that battle rap is even as big as it is. All y'all should be doing is contributing to this shit to push it forward. That's really it, bro. The minute y'all start getting big headed and think y'all can start shitting on other leagues, y'all can start doing this, and y'all can start doing that. Like, nah, bro. Rock, you don't even battle outside of URL. What if URL stops? What are you going to do? Like, what are you really going to do if they stop? Like, you depend on these niggas so much, it's crazy. Make your own fan base, my nigga. And you act like you so smart. Let me tell you something, bro. You was running around getting drunk by URL forever to the point that niggas just making fun of you. How you the number one and you don't even get paid the most. You just recently started getting that bread because niggas started really getting on your ass. Surf got on you. Goods got on you. Mad niggas started clowning you. And you felt stupid because your tweet said it. You start snapping on URL for a minute, acting like you was going to leave them niggas and shit. Remember that? I remember. So stop acting like you, you this super smart nigga. You not, bro. Just play position and get this money. I don't know why you're not getting this money in the UK. I swear to God, I don't. One minute you want to go to London, you want to get the bread and go to London. The next minute, oh, the money's not right and it's this, that, and the third. And Which one is it? Because you said you wanted to go to London. I don't see what stopped you from going to London when you got the contract that you seen what they was going to pay you. You seen how they was going to pay you. They, they didn't renege on nothing. You act like they did something they wasn't supposed to do. They did everything they were supposed to do. It's you. You the one who didn't contact them niggas. You the one who was ducking them niggas. You over here tweeting Big T about a battle. You over here tweeting out your music, but you ducking niggas who paid you. You got they bread in your pocket. What don't you understand about that? Like, what don't you understand about that? Now, you pay them back when you want to pay them back. You ain't even pay these niggas back on some real shit. Like, come on, my nigga. Stop that, bro. And stop lying to the fan that like, we some dumbass niggas. You over here blocking niggas for no reason and shit. Because we see through this, this fucking, this transparent shit you throwing out there. This weak-ass excuse for damage control. Just, just, just admit you was wrong, nigga. You already blocked my battle or whatever happened. Something happened, bro. Because I don't see how all you niggas ain't making. Something happened. I ain't putting all you niggas in the same boat, but goddamn, something happened to all you niggas? Nah, ain't nobody stupid, bro.
Stop lying to the fans, Rock. I'm on your helmet if you do again. 